Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. That one can stay right there. And I can swing on round like this and we'll pick this one up and we will do the soybeans first. And then once the soybeans are finished, we will change headers. And then we can get going on the corn. And we're not going to worry about replanting the fields and doing another lot because we're not actually going to be staying here all that much longer. So I'm just going to start up like that. And we're going to head off into here. So yeah, I will be staying on the Hardcore series a little bit longer yet. Um, I've just switched over on the time lapse series. We started Old Stream Farm now. Um, this one, we're not going to stay here very much longer. We'll finish up this harvest and we'll have a bit more of a look at the pigs and so on. We'll get them fed up a bit more. And we'll gather up all the straw. We'll make sure that's all baled and we'll pick up the bales and so on. And then that's going to be about it for this map, I think. We will move on and get going with the next project so on the next project we start out with a few fields and stuff that one i am going to attempt to do it without very much loan uh we will utilize a bit of the loan but i'm gonna sort of i'm still gonna be messing around i'm gonna be using mods that are completely unrealistic i'm gonna be using like the lumberjack mod so I start going through trees and stuff that you know if i don't want them there i'll just delete them um I've gone and had a good look at the three maps, and I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of liking the idea of the Chainsaw Valley map because of the challenge of trying to build a town on that steep ground, because most of the valley sides are quite steep, so it could be quite interesting trying to build in roads and things like that. Um as we start to build up a town and expand it. I'm, I'm not really sure at the moment, so get into the comments and give me some feedback on that, what you think about it. Um, I know that whatever happens in that series, it is going to require some landscaping, and not all of you are all that keen on watching landscaping, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that and how I will choose to balance things out, but I will sort of do my best with it. I, I will see what I can come out with. Not quite sure yet. It's, again, there's a lot of these things we just kind of got to balance and see how it goes. It's, it's all about balance and seeing how it goes. So let me just bring that one back around there like that. And then start it up again. Off we go up across the field right here and if I set the hired help going that one is hired helping so this is on the base speed I've now got the working um, the working speed mod and I'm not using it on this one but I think I will start using it for well it'll be when we move maps because we're not going to really be doing very many more jobs on this map we're all about other stuff now so i've got the trade no i don't want the trailer i don't want any of that uh, that's the chopper we're going over the fields i guess we could put that one going it's not going to hurt for the, some of these jobs to sort of still be done is it so we'll, we'll put this one going he's, he's kind of hanging around it's not He's not got a great deal to do, so it's, it's, it's definitely not going to hurt. So if I bring that one over here, and I run back down here like this, a nice big mulcher that we've got here. Start that one. Oop. It's actually got the front weight selected, so I'm going to go to the rear machine and drop that down like that and then start and what i love about the mulcher is the fact that it does actually mulch the grass off to the side of the field as well it's just that extra little nod towards realism isn't it it's 
like it's it's not a huge thing but you've got a little tiny strip there so i just drifted off to the side there just to give a decent example of it um it doesn't always especially when it's like close to the road right there but it does do it you do get a little bit of grass being mulched up as well and i think it's really cool the way that that actually works so if i go over here what i'm going to do down this side I'm going to set the hired help going, but I'm overlapping the edge by quite a long way. I deliberately keep it like that. So it'll mulch the grass all the way up through. It's quite cool, that. I like that. I do. I, I, I really like the way that it, it leaves that. That, that is, is quite cool. Um, there's mulchers and various different machines that will take out entire trees. I've uh, heard of and sort of seen so those are the sorts of things that we might end up using in the next map I'm not going to be cutting down every tree hardcore style it's definitely not happening we'll cut down some trees we'll take a look at different mods of cutting down trees and so on but uh, a lot of the trees will just get chopped up and tossed away because we don't want to be keeping hold of them we don't want to be messing around with stuff like that we got, we got other things that we need to do. Okay, so he's going to carry on there and he's going to do that. And then we're going to go back over this way and have a look at the combine. It's very nearly almost finished. While the combine's doing that, we're going to have our baler. Now, we've got this one set on the very smallest bale size. And we're going to just bale up this field here. And then we've got to go through. This is just through the gateway just over there. Um, to get the last bit of straw and I tell you what I'm actually gonna miss doing straw and stuff we will be doing normal farming jobs in the next one as well we're not just going to be focusing on the forestry even though it is a forestry map um, like I said I'm, I'm sort of leaning a bit towards the chainsaw valley one to be honest but we'll see what people want I have got a vote that is going on the discord for people on there as well and that's the votes I put on there for people who are in the Great Book of Names. Um, just to clarify, you don't have to donate money to me in order to be in the Great Book of Names. Although, if you do, that's an automatic entry. Um, you can also just become an active part of our community. People have earned their way in through regular commenting on videos and stuff like that because that's useful that's, that's that's quite helpful especially answering people's questions in the comments section that's that's a, a helpful thing to do so people earn their way in like that um be joining our discord server and being an active user over on the discord that gets you in um it, it, you you earn your way into the great book of names like that it's not an instant thing the only way to instantly overnight get into the book of names is if you support me financially and that's just that's just the way it is but there is ways for you to get in without having to spend money if you, if you can't spend money if you don't want to spend money for whatever reason then there are still ways for you to do it without having to actually spend any money um so uh, I've, I've always made sure of that i don't like the idea of um things like the great book of names and having your name mentioned in videos or seeing it uh, getting sort of some getting s small perks getting extras just by being fortunate enough to be able to spend money on something because it is fortune that does it it's not every is like uh, I, I hear the argument well you know people should get better jobs or whatever not everybody can do that, that that's not an option for everybody um, your situation is not always it's it's not so easy to go and just say oh yes well if I just go and do this I can get more money um, not everybody is able to go and do these things and that means then that some people miss out through no fault of their own on things like the great book of names which you know I use your name appears at the end of the video that kind of thing and if that's important to you, but you don't have the spare money to make a donation, then there are other ways for you to get in. It is definitely not exclusive to only people who have money. And that is something that I've always made sure of. The only time that I... And I try to keep that the, the same for all of 
my content, everything that I do. There's if you know there's a way to get something for a perk for a, you know a price, then there'll be a way to do it for free. Except for merchandise, because you know that actually does physically cost money to buy in the first place. So I, I've got no control over that. Um, but that's probably fairly obvious to most people. And so anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, Chainsaw Valley. Is that going to be the one that you all want me to go for? Like, have another look at the three of them. we got Rizu Forest, Umbreon Valley, and Chainsaw Valley. There's three forestry maps right there that I've just listed off. There are three forestry maps, and I'm going to go to one of them, and I'm going to start building a town. I'm going to try and farm uh, reasonably normal. I'm thinking that I'll go for one day per month. At the moment, I've been doing two days per month on all of my playthroughs. Because it actually works out quite nicely. I like two days per month. But I'm thinking this one, we're going to do one day per month. So that the month counter goes through a little bit faster. Um, I see no problem with that. But it does also mean that... You know that we may be rained off at times when it comes to doing things the main reason for having one at uh, two days per month is if you run out of time for doing certain jobs during the month but that shouldn't be an issue for us because we're going for the slightly more unrealistic style of gameplay like it, we can slow time right down to 0.5 times if we want to i think there's other mods available that let us slow it down even more you can sort of pause the passage of time completely which again is something that would be quite useful you pause the passage of time completely you haven't got to worry about anything now if i bring you over to here like that for a minute you're doing a brilliant job you are and i want to go there we go i get this one and we'll just offload those soybeans that we've got right there and I'm not going to be able to put much of the soybeans into the pigs, actually. I put a little bit, but not very much. And really, I want to put corn in for the pigs. Have a look at in. Uh, look at in. If you have a look at them now, so we got 100% productivity. So the productivity doesn't change based on here. Actually, I wonder if root crops protein grain if we put these in does it use these faster than it uses that one so root crops would be used the fastest if you just filled the whole thing up with root crops would it use them faster than it would use anything else or is that not how it works that would be my assumption the root crops would drain at the fastest rate and the base food would drain at the slowest rate I think that's how it would work. I mean, I'm probably completely wrong on that, so... Let's not get too carried away with it. So let's uh, put you away. I want to drive through here and take the header off. And then, once I've done that, we want to go and get the corn header so that we can go and start harvesting the cornfields. We've got no bales left. We want to just go and gather up the few little bales that we have got with our autoload trailer. I love that baler, by the way, and that's one that I would like to use in the next series as well. I think that would be a fantastic one to go and use. So I back up like that, and it locks on. I really, really love the way the headers now lock to the trailers properly like that. That is such a cool thing. Because you don't have the header tra you don't have the headers falling off the trailers as you're traveling around. And that was a little bit of a jolly nuisance when it was happening in the last um, version of the game. It, it caused complications and it was unnecessarily vexing. I didn't like it at all. What I am going to do before we head off into the field is I am going to artificially increase the speed of this header, which I believe you can do in here go to this one AI worker F has completed their task so I'm going to go to the John Deere right there wait really I haven't used it at all and it's already asked me for repair costs well let's repair it then and you here you've got a little bit of a repair oh did I buy it second hand maybe 
Okay, this one doesn't have any change in the speed. This one, however, customize, it does. 11.9 miles per hour is what we want for our working speed on there. So I'm going to customize that. So that is now going to go at absolutely full tilt. So we will take that from there and then spin back round. And now we can go and head through to our cornfields. And instead of it going along at a sedate 6 miles an hour, it is going to go along slightly more exciting 12 miles an hour, or 11.9, but you know, close enough. So let's go through here. And I'll take a bit of a slice off the top end of the field up here, like this. And then we'll move it into the smaller field over that side, and then I'll just start it working on there for a minute, and I'll see how it gets on. So I want to just start that one up. And... Right, that's saying six miles an hour still. Why aren't you going faster than that? I changed it. Why, does the combine itself not work when it... Wait a minute. The combine itself that we've got... It was a modded combine. Which one did we get? Uh, no, no. No. There, that one. We've got that bad boy right there. Uh, factory foldable extensions, wheel setups, designs, rear hitch pipe, numbers. No. It doesn't have anything on there that changes the speed. It's got 24 on that one right there. and But then the header, I thought you could change them over. I go into the header in here, and I bought that header... No, it's not in there, is it? It's corner headers. Let's get the right one. It's that one. One owned. It is this one right here. And then you got the configurations in there. Did I... Ooh, did I not do it correctly? Back. Here. It's my corner header that I've got. 12, 6 miles an hour. I don't want to sell it. No. But it's not going any more than six. This is particularly vest ve vesting vexing for me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like the flavour of this particular soda. I don't like the flavour of the Kool-Aid they're trying to serve me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whiz back over to the garage. Did I? I I'm wondering if I made a mistake. I must have made a mistake. It's the only explanation here. I must not have actually confirmed that I wanted to make the change or something stupid like that. I do make these mistakes. So, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm well able to believe. But it unhitched off of the machine. So it should be it, it should be able to do it. Repair, customize. It's got the working speed there, 11.9. Uh, it's definitely not doing 11.9. Other working speeds have worked, but... Ooh. Ooh, I... Um, wait a minute. Right, you. You've got a set working speed in the field of however much. Let me just start that up. Seven, eight miles an hour, right? That's the working speed of that machine while it's working in the field. So all I need to do is go and adjust the working speed of this one and see if it does actually change its working speed in the field. And then we can find out if it's a thing with the mod where you can't do it via the customization um, and you can only it only happens when you buy it or what. So I'll go into there and I go to that one and I will customize. So I've now got the working speed on there and I'll go all the way to 13.1 and then I will say customize yes so it that's what happened last time because it unhitched it off of the combine which means that it should it, it definitely registered a change but whether or not that change actually works 
is what we're about to find out. So we'll unfold it. Like that. And then I start it up. I lower it down. Ah. Right. You cannot customize the working speed. Once you've got the working speed, that's it. All right. Once the working speed is set, that's it. There is no other working speed. Which means that if I want the combine to go faster... Let's go to the combine. Uh, if I want this combine to go faster, I've actually got to take the corn header, sell it, and then get another one. Which we can do, because it's not actually that far from the shop to the cor top corner of the field that we want to work in. So it's, it's not going to take much. Now, Myopic Illumination, who is a moderator on my channel, actually, uh, he, he's also a policeman, and he keeps telling me that I need to use these flags. Well, there we go. It's uh, number two on the keypad. He keeps telling me that I've got to use flashes, and he would be giving me citations for not using flashes, and... So I've, I've got flashing beacons on there, but apparently I've got, I got to use the hazard warning lights as well. And he keeps telling me that if he's seen me going down the light, the, the light the, down the road without the lights on, without the, these hazard warning lights, the flashes, as he calls them, um, he would be writing me, be pulling me over and writing a citation. Now, we don't actually call them citations in in my country, but uh, I get the idea. It's uh, just a... He'd be giving me a ticket. I'd, I'd be getting into a spot, of, a spot of bother with the law for not having all of these lights on like I'm supposed to. So I'm, I'm being a good boy now, Mr. My, my, blah, 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 myopic Illumination. I'm being a very, very good boy. So I'm going to do that and that and that, and then I'm going to go into here. Uh, no, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to go to this one. Corn header... And it wasn't one of these ones up here. I don't want those. I want just the original corn header in here. But we will change the speed to the 11.9 right there. And then I will buy that for $127,000. That is a huge sum of money. $127,000 for just the header. That doesn't include the rest of the machine. That's another half a million. I think it's half a million. Something like that. It's not cheap, anyway. It's definitely not cheap. Let's move on down through here. And... Uh, we can just go up the road there. The road, the, the road just here. Oh, also, I've been told that apparently I'm not supposed to turn off of the road here to go across there. So how am I... Sp can I turn off here? I'm assuming I can turn off here. I'm not supposed to turn left or something, but I don't get how that works. How am I supposed to get from one side of the road to the other if I can't cross the road? I need that bit explained to me. I don't understand. I don't understand all these crazy American laws. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confused. And we have a faster header. So in order for the working speed to be able to work, you are not able to adjust it via the customization options in your workshop after you bought it. You must go and do this to start with, which is a bit of a surprise. I wasn't actually expecting that. I was expecting it to just be a thing you go and do you know, whenever you want to change the speed, because I'm pretty sure that that's what you used to be able to do in the last version of the game. So I don't know what particular bit of code has been changed that they can't do that this time but obviously something has changed and you can't do it this time just to accept that as being the new way of just the new way of things that that is just how it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do a bit along here and then i'm gonna back up a little bit like that and then go back in again right there I'm going to press H. What I do like is the sound of the rustle of the corn as it goes into the header. It does actually... See, it's, it's stopped now. 
taking out the road sign, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, they're fine. Although I suppose really, now that I'm out on the road, I should have my flashes on now, so I'm going to get in trouble with the law again. Um, but this this bit, the rough that is so cool. The sound of the corn going through that header is gen. I'm I'm really impressed with that. I didn't even think that was a thing. I love the quality of sound that they have added into this game. It's it's absolutely fantastic. I, I really, really genuinely love it. I think it's amazing. Um, okay, he is going to turn around. I was a bit concerned he wasn't going to turn properly. He was going to sort of try to carry on with this field over here. But no, he's not. He's turned and he's going to go on up through there. So what we need to do next is run over to our grain trailer right here. I've got a little bit of protein crop in there, but actually, how much have we got in here? We've got 3,000 in there because we've overfilled with the grain in there. I mean, we've got plenty of base food. It's only the root crops that we want in there. So not quite sure how the pig food works, but the pigs have got food at the moment, so we don't need to worry too much about it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to tip this out I'll tip out what I can of this protein food in for the pigs as well, and then we'll dump the rest into the storage silo, and all of the corn that we're getting off the field down there, that can all go into the storage silo as well. I've got a few bits here at the um, greenhouses. I'm going to pick those up along with the honey. I'm going to clear out that um, pallet storage thing that we've got as well. That one can be cleaned out. Go in over here like this. And I will dump the soybeans in there. Right, pigs. So we've got 7,500 litres there. And then we've got the base food. There is an easy way. I can just fast forward it a little bit. I can see exactly... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just take a quick photo of this. With my camera. With my phone. So I'm going to go to camera. I'm going to take a picture of those numbers and then I'm just going to fast forward it enough to go to drop by one or two drops. And then we'll take another picture and I can compare them. All right. So with one tick down on the 150 pigs, the protein used 37 liters. This one here. This protein one used 37 litres. The grain used 47 litres and the base food used 94 litres. Now, the productivity stayed at 100%, so it is using the base food faster. It's using that one at 50%, and this one 24 and this one 20. I don't know if things... And that the, the numbers do add up to the 179 that was used up. So the numbers all add up, and yeah, so I'm not sure if we add in the root crops, whether a little bit of that would be used, so less of these would be used. So if we didn't have any protein and grain... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.